All right, what is going on, guys? Today, I'm going to show you guys my life as an art mechanic. I like this setup a lot, but um, I haven't, actually haven't made a video in about a week. Um, had a lot going on, and I believe today will be more eventful than the others. Um, just dealing with personal stuff. So, can't let that let me down. Got to stay on these grind. But... That's why I, I do the videos the way I do. I'm gonna sneeze. That's why I do the videos the way I do, so I can take time off. Like every other day, if I record five days straight, that means I have videos for 10 days and can take another five days off. So that's basically what I did. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be recording. Uh, I might do one today, two tomorrow, and then some this weekend, which will get me back on schedule. Um, if I miss a day, or something, but it's because I've been really busy with um, appointments and whatnot, and it's not vlog-worthy content. But hopefully today is going to be vlog-worthy content. I'm just guessing. Um, I don't really have anything going on in the afternoon, and that's why I'll put most of this video. It's been so long, I like forget to record things, but I just got out of my appointment, and it is 12.03. You guys can see that 1203 um also my wife gave me the silent treatment today i don't know why must have did something wrong but um we're at arby's today the arby's on base is sick but it's always packed so uh i'm in like the back of the line ish i think i moved like three cars up and it's been like 10 minutes and i'm on old post so hopefully we get back in time um, yeah, I've just, uh, got appointments far away from the motor pool. Because there's, like, this post is very large, if you guys look at it, like, an, at an overhead. Um, there's even, like, a train system that goes through it. It's, uh, it's kind of big. Also, I think, uh, Damas, or Scott, is coming back. You guys seen him from my videos. Anthony. Um, he should be back today. I don't think he's on leave or something. But when he comes back, you know, we get these videos pumping. Got one coming out today. I got two planned for tomorrow. If things go as planned, the first one's going to suck. The second one's going to be a good video. Not suck. Um, it's going to suck for me. But um, I, it should be entertaining for you guys. Just uh, think they're doing the 12-mile ruck if you didn't do the first one. I was sick the first time, so it's gonna suck. So this is the dual wishbone suspension for you Honda guys. You're very used to this stuff, but I believe this is a rear. Yep. So that's where the drive shaft would go. That's actually a weird system. Wait, not drive shaft, axle. So. You have your lower control arm and your upper control arm, and then your coilover setup or a spring and strut setup. Um, a lot of these are, this is what it usually looks like, dirty, always. I don't know what that fan's for. Um, this is also another fan. And then like, there's all the wirings and stuff, it's all dirty. That's why like a lot of these have wiring issues because um never clean their trucks it's so, like tension rods um, this brake rotor so yeah this was uh, part of the axle that broke off so usually this is still in there but they're gonna have to drill this out because the uh oh so the, they got sheared off so they're gonna have to drill these out this one looks like it came out okay but these other ones, so this would be fun. Let's see if I can do this, actually. Um, I don't really have a lot going on just because I've been away with appointments and whatnot. So just more bouncing around, job to job, giving advice. But this is greasy. That's why I uh, probably got actual grease on here. But yeah, this rotor looks trash. It's like rusty. You can resurface this pretty easily. There's still a lot of metal to it, but just the grease and whatnot. 
Um, what else is going on in there? Oh, the caliper's hanging. Why is the caliper hanging? Well, they just unbolted it to get that piece off, I guess. Uh, this is the caliper. I would do pads on this since it's out. What is he gonna do, pads? Um, I know he was doing something up there. It looks like it's leaking at the cross member. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's like shiny over there. Let me focus. It's leaking over there. Um, either that way, pain in it. It's probably just leaking. But yeah, under this is what under a truck looks like. This is what I'm usually showing. Also, the generator. Hold on. And then these were probably in there too. <clears throat> yeah, these are cool. I like the uh, the setup. I don't know why this is back on. If they had to take that out. Actually, where is the axle? You might have thrown it away. Let's see if I can find it. It's raining outside. I need a. Get a bolt from the bolt bin. The uh, lock of one hand. Usually in the winter, when these get frozen, it just sucks. So you can just open it like this. If you guys don't know, now you do. And now I'm dry because of this pouring rain outside. <sighs> so, go check. I'm gonna guess it's a standard, just cause. First try, uh, maybe 7, 16, 20. That looks about right though. I think it's a 7, 16, 20. What would it be? M1215. Nope. Nope. Eh. Yeah, 7, 16, 20. So now we try a bolt. Where is it? 7, 16, 14. So it's going to be on the other side, I think. 7, 16, 20. Might need two hands for this. Let me uh, prop you guys up. 7, 16, 20 bolt. Fresh nut. I mean, I should have just taken a nut. It's not really working. Might, this nut just, it looks kind of like stripped out. You guys can see like fresh metal in there. So I might just grab new nuts all around. Um, the bolts are fine. So I need 7, 16, 20 nuts. Over here now, seven sixteen twenty nuts, seven sixteen twenty bolts, washers, seven sixteen twenty nuts. Grab four just in case. We only need two. I'd rather have something come back. Uh, Mike, Mike, grab one and one fourth. Oh, it's a little short. Anyway, I'll just grab nuts and then we can re thread the uh, bolts if needed. Uh, I'd rather use new nuts than. I don't know, it depends on the bolts. So these bolts are a little trash, but to take these off, you have to get to the hood pin. And we didn't want to take the hood pins off, but just uh, cleaning up the threads a little bit. Some PV blaster and an impact will work. Um, it'll so if you take if you use PV blaster, spray it with PV blaster or uh, penetrating oil, and then keep yeah, putting the nut on and off. Fast. It'll clean up the threads. It's basically if you don't have a uh, what is it called a tap, which we don't have them in our in our exact or direct possession, but we could ask for them, but. It just takes too long to do. And Vasquez already told me. He, we don't ask for stuff. Right we don't now. ask for stuff. We just figure it out. Fit foe. Hey man. <laughs> hey man. I need the fuel keys. 
What? <laughs> you don't have them on you? No, they're in my fucking, uh, my suits. Oh, damn it, bro. Why are you, you're all naked right now? Bro, I'm not naked. <laughs>